Hello everyone, my name is Leo Villanueva uh, and welcome to Leo's Music Minute. We're here today with John Seda, owner of Rising Sun Music. He's been in business here in the Tampa Bay area for 30 plus years and uh, today we're going to be having a great conversation about the music industry. John uh, has been uh, working throughout the years with uh, Grammy Award uh, winners, Rock and Roll uh, Hall of Fame inductees, and he is endorsed by Cubase and Black Diamond Strings. Okay, so this is pretty cool. You have just been nominated for writing the musical score for the 48-hour film project. Congratulations, by the way. Tell us a little bit about it. It's a very interesting project because it's international and um, there's uh, participants from all over the world. I think in the Tampa Bay area, there was like 50 films, 48, 50 films. And then they, they gave you like a theme of what you had to say and what the kind of like what the story is supposed to be about. So then you have to script it, film it, and do everything in, in two days. Hmm. And so if you're doing music, there's not much time to sleep. And so uh, I remember I, I banged my head against this because <laughs> I was mixing and I, you know, I, I fell asleep. And that was like seven o'clock in the morning. And then I said, well, okay, uh, let's take a break. You know, and, and the rest was history. And actually the movie got nominated for, for all 10 positions. Wow. For all 10 nominations. Excellent. So it's a 10 out of 10. Wow. So it's very excited. Okay, so here's a hot topic uh, question for you. Let's talk music industry. Okay, here we go. Uh, <laughs> uh, can a musician uh, make money out of music nowadays? Can it be, uh, can they monetize it? Can it be profitable as a music career? We're told as a child that, you know, if you believe the music, they say, and I'm going to say this the way my mother used to say this. Sure. Mijo, you need to get a job, <laughs> you know? I mean, because, you know, and I go, Mom, but I'm making money. No, no, mijo, that's not money. You mm -hmm. need security, right. right? So imagine everybody saying that to their kids all mm -hmm. the time, where they're not going to believe they can do it. Mm -hmm. So there's, there's always this negativity, but it's been inbred in us since we were children. Mm -hmm. You can't do it. You got to get a job. <laughs> you got to go study. Well, how come you can't go study music and be a music teacher, mm -hmm. right? So all of you that call it the music business, then you just said the word. It's the music business. Learn <laughs> the music business. The business of music is to sell music. That's what record companies are supposed to do. They're supposed to sell records and artists are supposed to make great music to sell music. If you say that this music is what you want to do, then you should make it your business to learn the business. And part of it is to learn how to make money. You've been doing this for a long time. Do you have any tips, recommendations uh, for vocalists, instrumentalists, artists that come here to work with you in the studio on how to maximize their time? I express very deeply to everybody that the most important thing that you should focus on before coming into any recording studio, regardless as mine or another company, right, mm -hmm. is that they should practice. Mm -hmm. They should have their music down or their vocals down. Anything that you express through your feelings will come across, whether it's happy, light, dark, or whatever. So you should be aware of that before you come into a studio and be prepared and, and try to come in positive, you know, mm. come with a good positive mind. John, say that everybody. John, thank you so much for spending time thank with you. us. Really appreciate it. I hope we can do this again. We'll do it. Okay, bro.